The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Wow! We have to change that, huh? Really? Yeah. I thought you'd done on purpose. I would prefer that you wear it <laughs> for a second. Please help me. <laughs> it must be a present, is it? No. You bought it by yourself? Yeah. Why? It must be a present. <laughs> the captain. The, yeah. Warm. All the others are warm as well. <laughs> the good looking up. Ben, kick us off. Oh, sorry. Okay, yes. um, Jürgen, the whole of football this week is talking about tunnel behaviour. Obviously, I thought what went on at Old Trafford. I just wondered, in terms of your own players after the game, celebrating wins, and what, what sort of standards of behaviour do you expect from them? No, for, I actually, I don't think that, that most of the things are. Now we talk about it, but and it didn't really happen a lot, right? That one team is celebrating and the other team doesn't like it too much. So that's uh, that's obvious that you don't like it if you hear it. We when we we had uh, one or two draws at home, and I, in the interview zone, I hear the loud music from the the dressing room of the other side. So that that's how it is. So I, I don't have a problem with that, to be honest. But it's it's all about everything. It's allowed as long as it shows. The respect, of course, for the opponent. That's how it is. I think it's a, it's a very emotional game, and so it's it's pretty likely. And we, as managers, we are not in the dressing room after the game because you need us, um, obviously, for a few other things to do. So it's um, yeah, there's music and sometimes a few shouts, but that's how it is. I have no problem with that. But uh, how is that? Um, as long as you show the right amount of respect, everything is allowed. Emotions were running high, weren't they, after the Merseyside derby, of course. Looking back now, a bit more time to reflect. How do you view your post-match interviews? But I asked if I would give the same interview now. I think the, the, the information I had to give the few <laughs> um, would be the same. Um, but of course, now I'm completely relaxed. But it was five minutes after the game, so I was not relaxed. I'd, it's always the same. You, see, you look in the eyes of the journalist and you see he's not interested in what you feel. And that sometimes feels, I know that already, but sometimes it feels not that cool. And that's why I reacted then like I reacted. That's, I, it was nothing. I didn't use any words I have to take back or whatever. It's, it's, I don't like it, but it's, I, 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 I'm pretty sure I cannot change it. Because I've, I felt it. I felt like this in that moment, and um, I'm not an actor, so I cannot act differently. But uh, meanwhile, I, I have myself, I can keep myself that calm that nothing serious happens in situations like this. It's just an interview. So I don't think uh, um, that anybody really remembers it, to be honest, and um, would look, watch back. And they then say, oh my God, that was hilarious, or was a legendary interview, it was just an interview, nothing, nothing else. I'd like to ask you about Emre Chan as well, he didn't feature at the weekend. Um, from January, he can <coughs> sign a contract with a foreign club. Will you and the club be sitting down with him between now and then to try and convince him to stay? Whatever I could say about that is not for the press conference. So we, we spoke about that already a lot of times, and I said he can sign. That the only difference from January on that he could also sign for another club. That's all. So um, and um, for us there is no difference. As long as he we get, don't get the information that he signed for another club, there's nothing to say about it. It's exactly like it was before. And I speak a lot to Emre, like to other to the other players um, too, but. Um, it's pretty rare that I'd speak to him about the contract situation because I, we gave already all the information and um, what we can give, that's it. Um, what about Dom Solanke, if I can, another start for him uh, against Everton? 
So how do you feel he did? Um, how likely is he to start in this one? And good for how do you feel he's doing? It was in a fantastic way. That's maybe the main the main message. Um, he could have played a little bit more confident, but it's a he's a young boy. So in a few situations, I saw him doing differently than he would have done in training, for example. But uh, we all have to learn um, to deal with with um, with uh, expectations, crowd, atmosphere, importance of the game, and stuff like this. So I'm really happy. That he that he did what he did, and that this will help him a lot, 100%. And uh, he he made the the chance for for Sadio after throw in was a little chance with Buddy and um, good challenge. And he's a smart player, so I, I I liked I liked it. He can play better, 100%. But um, that was a good second step, if you want. Uh, more minutes for Danny as well coming on. How how is he as far as the progression? Danny, Danny's fit. Danny's fit. But the situation is like it is. The other ones are, are, are good as well and uh, in a very good shape. And uh, that makes it obviously a little bit difficult for Danny. But his fit is in a good shape. Or we all probably, if you want, you can see it in the U23s. He, he takes the situation like it is. He uses. This. He wants to have the minutes. He's always asking. It makes much more sense for him to play 90 minutes in the U23 to, than to get a few minutes, but this week it was possible. And so I'm pretty sure it was nice for him. I think he scored the last goal uh, again in the Premier League against Everton probably, and um, must be before I came in. And now um, he played against Everton again. I thought it's a good idea to involve him. Um, yeah, that's it. He's in a very, very good way. Everything injury-wise is perfect. No issues anymore, so that's the most important thing for him because he's still a young boy and uh, there's a lot to come for him. And I know when you go into matches, you tend to like, I think I tend to like to watch the last three or four games again on, on video and what have you. So, since Alan Pardew has come into West Brom, what differences have you seen? What maybe makes them more dangerous coming to Anfield now? I think we know what Alan Pardew said when, uh, or, or when he came in that he wanted to. Um, play offensive football, stuff like this, but it's a situation for West Brom, it's not for that. And so you cannot, first of all, you cannot change things overnight, that's one thing. The other thing is um, um, this this squad is, um, um, they did the squad in the summer, so, and it's for a specific kind of football, and so the, 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 it's uh, still long balls, of course, still set pieces, um, and very physical, so that's how it is, but um, you only can. I, I'm not here to judge anything, but you only can judge after much more time than Alan had so far. So that's for sure. So that's nothing. They need points. They are not in a comfortable situation. It's not a worrying situation. I say, okay, no chance. No, no. They can, of course, they started really well in the season. And then obviously um, the situation changed a little bit. So um, I think we know what we can expect. But. Um, Last game they played with all three strikers against Swansea. Um, I don't expect that, but if against us, but if then uh, we have to handle this. So quality, experience, but um, home game for us. That's all what I have to say about that. James, how is the injury looking? It's. Um, not clear 100%. I know we play tomorrow, but it's still not 100% clear. We have a few um, knocks and uh, we, we still have to wait a little bit how, how they will deal with that. Nothing serious after last game, so serious in the sense of long term, but one or two is possible that uh, will not, um, or the time is not, it will be not enough for the West Brom game now. We have to see. We have really, it's how it is after games like this. There were hard challenges involved in that game and we have to see. And um, always, in this short term, you always need to judge is the, the, the muscle they feel an injury or it's just intensity. So, um, and for that you need pretty much each minute until you can judge that and that's what we will do. Not really. No, he's not, he's not ready for sure, of course, no chance. We make further assessment in the moment. So we, we, we send him to different doctors just to know a little bit more. But it's still possible that it's not that long. It's possible that it's, I don't know, until six weeks we have to see. But um, it's really not uh, not decided so far. So we have, need to have a look on it, further look. Carl? Yeah, there's basically not been playing. Rolana and Matip, where, where are they? 
Adam is back in training, completely normal, but he needs to, of course, he needs now a build up again. So that's how it is, but he is good. He trains completely normal. We have to see what we do with him um, because we, we need him for the next weeks 100%. Um, hopefully, um, yeah, should not need him for tomorrow uh, but then step by step we need to we need to see how we can bring him in a, in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a match fitness shape and um, that's it so we have, we have to see uh, but he's on a good way and Joel is not in training so he's running um, not more that means it takes a little bit longer um, I'm just wondering you have been rotating the squad and changing it I'm just wondering how much your experience last season when January came around and the score was so stretched, how much that has affected the Champions League as well this season in terms of how you're managing the squad? It's only one information. It's not the information what we use. So if we could, if we would have had the squad last year, we would have done it last year. So uh, in a different way, it's it's just how how it starts when you have when you get um, injuries in early November. Uh, November, what we had last year, um, then you cannot rotate in December because the players are not there, and that then you then you suffer in January. That's how it is. That's not really to change, and then the players come back in January, which. Was, Got injured in in November, but they are not in the same shape than they been in November. That that's the situation, but it's the the only thing. And um, we always make um, it's only how I said only one information. But for all these games, I I really think if you have the quality in the squad, what we have, we have to use it. And you cannot. Um, I said it before. You cannot play the. 11 same players all the time until four of them are injured and then you hope that the other four will come in with quality but they have no rhythm then that they will perform for you that's we expect that I know but it's not really likely and so we did it so far how we did it so far Glenn, anything from you? No, Melissa, anything from you? Okay guys, thank you very much Welcome